Hey everybody, this is Dr. Joe Borio with this week's Health Kick. Uh, today's topic, we're going to talk about a problem that a lot of people suffer from locally in, uh, in Central New York area. And, uh, and they're kind of connected, and that would be like sinus pressure and, uh, and allergies. Um, so let's talk about sinuses for a minute. Your skull, is, what is a sinus? Your skull is actually uh, made of bone, and it can be heavy. Bone can be heavy. So what nature did was it, it actually has these hollow spaces, primarily here in the front of the skull, and then between the nose, kind of behind the eyes, and you have these sinuses. And there's four main sinuses, a frontal sinus, there's the maxillary sinus right here. You have your sphenoid and ethnoid sinuses here. And they're open cavities of the skull. And by that, the skull is not solid bone. It actually makes the skull lighter. The reason they're surrounded around the nasal area and face is because they help aerate and filter and control temperature uh, of the skull and face. So they, they actually serve quite a few purposes. The inside of your sinus, so think about the inside of your bone is is bone, right, or the inside of your skull, I'm sorry, is bone, and, and the surface of that is covered with a mucosal lining. I'm gonna pull open my lip here for a minute. This stuff right here, okay? And it's mucusy, so it's it's a fleshy tissue that actually makes a lot of mucus. And why, did, why does it make mucus? It's so it can cleanse itself. Mucus is there for a lot of different reasons. It has a little enzymes to break down stuff you're breathing in, and it also uh, helps cleanse the sinus. So they're very, very important and they're important to be designed that way. Uh, they're important to have. Now what happens is allergies or sinuses are connected in that when we breathe in certain things, an allergy is actually you're breathing in a protein, let's say, uh, technically an antigen, but you're breathing in a protein and that, that protein reacts with your immune system. Your immune system reacts to it as if it's like a foreign body, like a virus or a bacteria or some, some type of a spore or a fungus. And by that you get an immune reaction. So what your body do, your whole immune system starts to kick up and you start to make a lot of mucus and you start to make a lot of um, extra fluid in the sinus and it starts to put more pressure in the sinus, starts to put more pressure within the, within the face. So the sinuses start to fill up with a lot of mucus and as a result, by filling up with a lot of mucus, it starts to build up pressure. The other problem is by building up pressure, the sinus has little holes in it, they drain. The sinus can't drain and then what happens is the barometric pressure on the outside changes, right? Kind of like going up in an airplane or going down deep in a swimming pool, you feel that pressure in there. And what happens is the, the sinus pressure can't equalize itself to the outside pressure because it's plugged, because it made so much mucus typically from an irritation or an infection or what have you. And what happens then is what? You start having this horrific sinus pain, sinus pressure. A lot of people call it an infection, most of the time it's not. Uh, but that's kind of how allergies are associated with the sinus problem. Um, so a couple more things on that. We got to understand that 94% of all infections are viral in nature, not bacterial. So I see, and it's frustrating as a chiropractor, I see so many people rushing out to get antibiotics. Antibiotics have no benefit, no benefit for a virus. In fact, not only do they have no benefit, they weaken your immune system, so they make the immune system less likely to fight off any infection. Um, they also cause a lot of side effects, but yeast infections, secondary infections, skin problems, stomach problems, and it kills all the good bacteria by taking antibiotics. So we got to be very careful on what we do here and how we utilize antibiotics. So remember, 94% of all infections are viral in nature. Most sinus headaches, most sinus pressure, a lot of times you start making a lot of mucus and so forth. That's not an indication of an infection in there anyway. It's an indication that the sinuses are overworked either from... Uh, a side effect to the antigen, to allergies, or a lot of uh, pressure in the atmosphere and, and your body's more sensitive to it. So, so that's kind of, uh, hopefully that gives you a good overview in a few minutes of what a sinus is and how it's related to allergies. Now let's talk about how to make them healthy. So if we understand that they're mucosal, no matter where they are in the body, what does, what does mucus like? Mucus likes uh, to be clean. Um, you're constantly making saliva in your mouth and mucus, so you're constantly swallowing, cleaning, so it's cleansing itself. Your sinuses have to actually be open all the time, and they want to cleanse themselves. So um, you want to make sure that you're well uh, hydrated, that there's a proper level of humidity in the area. If it's too dry or too wet, certainly it's going to make the sinuses uncomfortable. So you can't really do that when you go outside, but certainly when you're inside, uh, for those people that are more sensitive, if you use an electric radiator, they can be extremely dry. 
Uh, if you're using hot forced air in your house, that can be very dry. So do you have a humidifier that there's moisture being returned back into the air that you're losing through the furnace uh, would be really important. You can buy a room humidifier. So you can buy uh, humidifiers that actually go in your living room or your bedroom or wherever you find that you spend a lot of time. And that'll create a proper humidity in the air, which will certainly allow your sinuses to be much healthier. And that'll stop you from having uh, sensitivity or, or really any sinus problems. A um, couple other things, we got to remember that there's allergies that are associated with them. So uh, what we want to do is make sure we got hypoallergenic wraps for our pillow, hypoallergenic wraps for our bedding. We want to make sure that we're washing our bedding on a regular basis. If you have carpeting in your bedroom, you want to make sure that that carpeting is gone. Certainly clean, but I'm not a wall-to-wall -wall carpeting guy in a bedroom. I think it's bad. It's difficult to clean. You got a lot of uh, material either from your body, you know, your skin is constantly shedding. As gross as that may sound to some people, we have dust mites. We have other types of parasitic animals that have, uh, it's really their, their waste product that you get uh, allergic to. So, uh, you know, we got to remember that. Also on, on um, heating systems, if you have hot forced air, you want to actually cut a, a little filter and put it over the uh, intake and the, and the uh, heat run in your room. So air being sucked down is being filtered and air kicked up is being filtered and change those, you know, a couple times a season. I think that would dramatically help you. A humidifier, as I mentioned, in the room would greatly help you. Like I said, remove the carpet, hypoallergenic wraps. Now we talk about saline wash. Um, they sell that in a little bottle. It's just salt water. There's no drug in it, so that's, you know, that's chiropractic friendly. And uh, it's basically salt water equivalent to your own uh, salt solution in your body. And you want to uh, uh, put it up each nostril and you want to use that two to three times a day if you're actively having problems. If you're not, use it once a day. What that does is that washes out. You got to remember pollen, different types of proteins, uh, uh, different types of materials that you're breathing in your nose. Even if it's not an allergy, but you're in a dusty area or an area filled, filled with a lot of a debris in the air, you're breathing that in, it's going to irritate the mucosal lining and the mucosal lining makes a lot of mucus. So by you washing it out, right, we want to keep it clean like we do our mouth, you know, three, four times a day if you're active, once a day if you're not. And what it does is it cleans those sinuses and the mucosal membranes, allows the sinuses to be healthier, allows you to have a lot less trouble. That'll certainly help. Now they do sell um, a saline wash that comes in a mist. It actually comes in a can. Some people are really sensitive to putting like water or fluid up their nose. So they sell one with an applicator on it and then they sell, um, uh, I'm sorry, they sell the can with an applicator and it does a nice soft mist. It's much nicer for the nasal patches, much more tolerable for people. Also, we wanna make sure we drink a lot of water. We forget that when we drink water, our body cleanses itself. So by drinking water, your body filters more blood through the kidney, which gets rid of more of the waste products. And as a result, it certainly makes you uh, healthier and, and your body cleaner, which helps with allergies as well. We wanna make sure we're on a probiotic, healthy bacteria helps the gut and all our mucosal membranes. Uh, that bacteria is really important, it's called flora, so that helps fight off infections. We wanna make sure that we're um, on a flaxseed or fish oil, omega-3 oils, we talked about those in other health kick videos, but uh, very important in lowering the inflammatory response uh, of the body. And I, I think that's, uh, that's certainly vital. And then you get into the other things that we always talk about, sleeping certainly is uh, vitally important, keeping your resistance up, keeping your immune system up. Um, we talk about cold and flu season, washing your hands, certainly is very important because that's gonna prevent uh, bacterial viral infections uh, from spreading. Uh, one thing I thought was very interesting, and many people maybe don't notice this, but when you have a cold, you ever notice how like one nostril's open and the other one's plugged, and then they switch? Your body does that all the time. So your body actually has little muscles in there that narrows the opening of one nostril to allow you to use one more than the other. Not that it shuts it off completely, but more than the other. So that what it can do is it can take time to clean the side and then it switches over to this side. Isn't that amazing? Body's unbelievable. It's called innate intelligence. Pretty cool stuff. All right, guys, we're all set. Remember, spread the video around, share it with other people. I want you guys to eat well. I want you to exercise. I want you to sleep well. I want you to drink a lot of water. We got to have positive thoughts in here. Do some real good self talk. And remember, you, your mother, your father, your grandkids, everyone you know in your life, make sure they're under regular chiropractic care. This has been Dr. Joe Boyle with this week's Health Kick. Have a great one.